Hello, welcome back to our channel. So today what we're gonna make um, is something for lunch and we're making uh, shrimp tacos and then we're gonna make a small side of coleslaw to go with it, a really quick um, side of coleslaw. So what we have here, so our cabbage and we have our onion and we also have mayonnaise. So those are the things that we have. I'm going to start off, uh, we also have some uh, shredded carrots right here. So that's going to be for our, for our coleslaw. So I'm going to readjust the camera and we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you uh, the carrots and how I'm shredding them. Okay, so we're over here now and we have what we have here. Um, is we are shredding our carrots. We are using the Presto salad shooter and I will put the link in the description to show you guys where we purchased that. So as you can see, there's a photo here of some coleslaw and that's what we're making. We're not making that coleslaw, but we are making coleslaw. So we have our peeled baby carrots that we're using in the coleslaw. And we have our uh, carrots out of the bag. We wash them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut quite a bit that we're not gonna use in this one recipe, but we're gonna use that for another recipe another day. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those carrots um, up as it is. So let me show you guys exactly what I do and how easy this is to cut the carrots. So I've already washed them, okay? So I take them and I put them inside of the little chute right there. See that? I just put them inside the little chute. Kind of put, you can put quite a bit in there. So we might be able to put all of these, okay? And so then what you do is you take this other piece and you fit it in there. And then you turn it, you push, you're going to be pushing this down. Sorry, you're going to be pushing. Let me see if I can get this right. So pushing that down. Okay, so we're going to push this part down. And then it's, as we push down, it's going to make the carrots. Okay, so that's how we make the carrots in here. I'm gonna probably make just a little bit more. And then once you finish making the carrots or shredding them in here, you're going to just do like this with a knife or a spoon. Don't do it with your finger. And if you do, you make sure you unplug it and turn it off because you don't want this to grind, grind your fingers up, right? So safety first. It should always be unplugged and turned off so you don't accidentally hit the hit the starter button and then you won't have any more fingers. So one moment and we'll make a few more carrots. Okay, so we just washed a few more carrots out. And you can use regular carrots like the long ones that you buy at the store. You can use those too, but we just I just chose to get these. Okay, and if you look in there, right there, you see sometimes there's a little carrots left and you can turn it on and try to see if those carrots will come out. Sometimes they won't. And then what you do for this is you just turn it like that and then you can take this off. And again, you're gonna put the, you're gonna take what's left in here. 
So you can also do your cabbage in here, any kind of vegetables, and there's different inserts to where you can make your vegetables round, um, you can shred your cheese in here, your cabbage, anything, or you can make like radishes like they have right there and it's round. So I love this machine. I've had several already and I've misplaced some parts to it or what have you. And so anyway, this is what I always do for the carrots. So when I shred my carrots this way, this I put in a container and it'll last in the refrigerator like several days. You can use it for your salads. You can use it for any other kind of dishes like our vegan fried rice that we have. So anything like that, you can use this. This is like one of the best gadgets that you can ever have. So there you go, that's the carrots. Okay, so now we're back over here on this side. Of the, of the kitchen and what we're gonna do is we're going to slice the red onions so all of these can be done in the um, in the little salad uh, shooter thing that I showed you guys a little bit a minute ago so I'm not gonna make very much of this the coleslaw I'm just gonna make a little bit So I kind of slice these as, you know, small as possible, you know, many, and that way we're not tasting big, big chunks. It's going everywhere of onions. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and just put the onions in here. So we're going to take our lettuce. We've already washed the lettuce off. And like I said, I'm just making a little bit. And then I'm going to, you know what? I'm not going to use all those onions. I'm going to set some aside and I'll just save it for another recipe. I'll just use a little bit. I don't like a lot of onions in my coleslaw. So I'll just give it a little taste with just a little onions. Okay, so then I'm going to take the coleslaw. And I'm going to thinly slice it. So kind of like shredded. And if I'm making a big coleslaw, I'll usually, um, you know, use the salad shooter. And when I do that, I'll let you guys know when I make a bigger and better type of coleslaw. But this one, right here is just a quick quick and easy one so then i put the lettuce in here okay okay i'm cleaning up my area so i like to keep my area clean Okay, I'm back, so hopefully you guys can hear me over the air fryer, but so we have our cabbage and a few onions in here. The onions are very scarce. Maybe I should put a little bit more because I barely see them. Just put a little bit more. So then we have our 
well, first of all, I'm going to put the Miracle Whip. Okay, and this is just like a, a spoon, like maybe a tablespoon. And then we're going to stir this in. And you're only going to put enough mayonnaise in here, or Miracle Whip, if you're using Miracle Whip, because that's what we're using. Okay. You only put enough to where it's, you know, a little, little damp, not too, not too much. If you like a lot of mayonnaise in your coleslaw, then go ahead. So, I don't like a whole bunch in there, but, so anyway, do you see the consistency here? It's a little, you can see it has a little bit on there, not a whole bunch. So then I'm going to season it up, and I'm going to put a little bit of my garlic powder. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. Some parsley flakes. A little bit of cilantro leaves. Let me stir that up. You know, also what's good in here, if you have a can opened up already, but if you don't have one, I wouldn't worry about it. But it gives it a little spice if you put, um, so it gives it a little spice if you add a little bit of Rotel tomatoes. But I'm going to look in the refrigerator, so if I don't have any, I won't put it in there. But if you have some already opened up, then you can just put like a little teaspoon of um, Rotel tomatoes in there. It's really good. So then, lastly, I don't usually use salt, but... Okay, coleslaw normally needs some some salt, so I'm going to put that in there. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about the carrots. Let's put the carrots in first. Make sure the consistency is still going to be good enough. Okay, so that's probably about maybe a tablespoon and a half of carrots. Almost forgot about the carrots. And then after you finish this, you're going to let it chill in the refrigerator for a little bit. It's supposed to chill for a while, like maybe like a couple of hours, but we're going to eat in a lesser time than that, so I'm not going to worry about it. So, as I was doing before the sea salt, I'm going to grind some and put it in there. Okay, so then we're going to stir this up to mix the sea salt that we have grind it up and there you have it there's your coleslaw okay so I just thought last minute about adding lime a little bit of lime juice to this so I'm going to just squeeze a little just a little piece of lime. See, it's not that big. I have some in the refrigerator already. I like to use stuff that I already have around the house. And I'm going to just squirt that in there a little bit. Give it a little extra taste. Make sure that it's seasoned really well. And I'm going to put that in the refrigerator until we're ready for the rest of our um, items. So there you go. And that's the coleslaw. It looks delicious.